there anything worse than trying to wash your bike, leaning it up against the wall and risking it falling and scratching? I don't think it is. I don't currently have a bike wash stand or a maintenance stand, but I'd really like one. So I'm gonna set myself a challenge of trying to make my own DIY bike stand or maintenance stands with just things that I found laying around and hopefully not spend much money on it. Now, this is just my version. So you can literally use absolutely anything to build this stand. Some rummaging around and looking at a few different ideas we've managed to narrow it down to the things that we're going to use for the build so we start with the base we found this old agricultural plate that i have no idea what it was used for but it's really nice and heavy and sturdy and it's going to be perfect for the base then i'm going to bolt this plate onto the base and then put this scaffolding joint on there and then this is going to hold our big pole. Now this is an aluminium pole um, for the games, lightweight. For the arm of the stand, we have found this TV stand, which is ancient. I think it's from early 90s, probably, maybe even 80s. Don't know why we still had it, but it's definitely come in handy for this build. So we're going to take this plate off and then we're actually going to bolt a stem onto the top there that is actually going to hold our handlebars. Now we're going to put the handlebars, we're going to put the handlebars upside down like that onto the stem and our top tube is going to rest in the handlebars to hold our bike. To hold our TV stand to the pole we've bought these exhaust clamps. Now these are the only items we've actually bought and I think they were two pounds each so not very expensive and these are going to hold our TV stand on gear. We've also got ourselves some handlebar tape that we had in the shed that hasn't been used um, and we're going to put that onto the handlebars just for extra protection on the top tube. So we're going to need quite a lot of different tools for this. So we've got lots of different size spanners. So we've got 15s, um, 13s. 13s and that's so rusty I can't even see, a 22. Um, also got a trusty multi-tool that's going to come in handy to put the handlebars on the stem. Also got an angle grinder, not used one of them before, so that's going to be interesting. A marker pen to mark the holes in the right place. A drill bit to drill the plate. This socket is going to go inside our stem like that. And then this bolt is going to go through there. We've also got a brace of cloth to try and clean the pole a bit. This is a bit dirty. Safety is key when doing DIY, so I've got myself some very fashionable safety glasses. I'm also going to be doing some welding, so we've got a welding mask and some safety gloves for our welding. Um, and of course an apron to protect my nice GCN t-shirt. The first step is I'm going to clean the base plate and then mark holes so I can drill the second plate onto the top. Next step is to mark the holes. So for this, we're going to put this on the floor and then put the plate on top and then put the holes through with our permanent marker. Now time to drill some holes. So I've now drilled four holes into the plate and hopefully they're going to match up to the holes on the bottom base. So all I have done here is put the bolts through the four holes that I've drilled, then flipped it over, pop the washers on and tighten the screws. Next I took my scaffolding joint and used it to mark a circle around the centre of the base, then marked three points where we were going to clean for the welding. So here I am using an angle grinder to clean the three areas on the base plate, including the scaffolding joint. This essentially preps the material for the welding process, as you can see here. 
Now all suited up, it's time to weld the scaffold and joint onto the base plate. This is the fun part. So, very glamorous this DIY business. I've just welded the scaffolding joint onto the plate and this is actually my very first attempt at welding so uh, it's not the neatest but it'll do. And that's how we test if it's on securely. So now we're going to see if the pole actually fits in, hopefully it does. Yeah, not bad. Next thing is to decide what height we're going to cut the pole. So I reckon if we cut it about here and then it'll give us a bit of room to adjust where the clamp sits. So I'm just going to mark where we're going to cut the pole. So now I've cut the pole. And I'm just going to put it in. I think that's good height. And now tighten it up. Now I'm moving on to the actual TV stand. And I'm going to start by taking off these bolts to the big flat base where the TV used to sit in the olden days. So we now need to drill holes into the TV stand for the exhaust clamp. So there are actually holes already on the TV stand, but they're too far apart for the bracket. So we're going to make some new holes. So I'm just going to mark out where the new holes are going to go. So now drilled new holes into the TV stand. So the next step is to clamp this onto the pole. So the clamps are now on. We're just going to slide it onto the pole. Get it at the right height. Tighten it up. I'm pretty happy with how my stand is coming along. It's, it's taking shape slowly. The next bit is to attach the stem and I'm going to attach the stem on top of the TV stand with this bolt. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of play in there. So I've got an old socket that I'm going to put in the middle of the stem and then there's going to be far less play in the stem. As you can see, the socket fits quite nicely into the stem. It's a perfect fit. So I've got my stem on nice and securely. I'm now I'm going to put the handlebars on. The most important thing about DIY is plenty of coffee stops. It's now time for everyone's favourite part. Wrapping the handlebar tape around the bars. Now. I know before you put comments in the comment section, I know I am not the best at wrapping bar tape, so please be nice. Handlebar tape on. Yes, it did take me uh, two or three attempts to get it nice and neat, but not too bad. It's probably not up to John Cannings' standard, but not bad. Just to make it look a little bit better, I'm going to paint it with some matte black paint. So just painted the pole matte black and it's come out quite nicely. One more finishing touch and I think we're done. And here we have it, my DIY fully functional bike stand. I think it's time to put it to the test and give my bike a good wash. that stand held up pretty well for that bike wash and I guess it could be a maintenance stand as well if you needed to do some maintenance to your bike. Why don't you guys at home have a rummage around your sheds and see what you can build. Now 
I know you probably w won't have a TV stand from the 80s or 90s or an agricultural plate from, I don't even know when that was from, but you might have an old pair of handlebars that you could attach to, you could make it out of wood, you could make a wooden base. It can be anything, anything you can find. Right, I'm off to upload this to the GCN app in the buy upgrade section. The scaffold. <laughs> you can put that in. <laughs> and yes, it's still hot. Mm, still hot. <laughs>